I mean, uh, this company's been around for five years, and today is a major milestone moment where we get to unveil our first full-scale demonstrator aircraft of the ES-30 hybrid electric plane. So we're going to start by doing some preliminary tests on this aircraft, propulsion tests, taxi tests, structural tests. After that, we're going to be uh, uh, taking it apart and ship it to the U.S. where we're going to start our flight testing campaign. So today, I mean, we are uh, part as a transatlantic multinational company. Um, we have customers from all over the world and our, our, our anchor customers are, are based in the U.S., United Airlines and, and Air Canada. So we felt it was really important as we gone through our last fundraising to establish a larger presence there. Uh, the U.S. is the biggest market for aviation in the world with over 5,000 airports. It has a vast yeah, regional connectivity network, and it's also a great concentration for talent. Uh, and and I, today we heard from our new chief technical officer, Ben Stabler's coming from SpaceX, and, and Mickey is, is one of our high-voltage engineer coming from, from the Tesla Semi program. And we obviously want to make sure that we can build a cross-functional team across the Atlantic where, where we can develop some of these core technologies. Oh, I think that, yeah, there's a new, new, new generation. I mean, there was a, it was 40 years ago since we last saw, you know, the, a real boom in these type of aircraft and we've seen them disappear and, and, you know, and being replaced by regional jets. I think we're more and more realizing that a turboprop is much more, for the prop de de uh, propeller aircraft, it's much better unit economics. Uh, and obviously if it's hybrid electric, you can, you can fly much, you know, extreme low operating costs for short flights and also with half the fuel consumption for longer flights. So uh, I'm sure that there's, you know, the excitement that we're sensing from our airlines in the US is obviously palpable. We're not only working with United, but also with Air Canada, JSX, et cetera. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have to take it apart. So we're gonna take the wing off and the empanage off and then we're gonna reassemble it again. So we, what we are doing is we're, we're building different systems on different locations and also obviously working with the globally distributed supply chain um, but, uh, so the next program, we call it the X2, which is the one that's coming after here. That's, uh, going to be built in a combination of some of the structural elements of it. It's going to be built in these two hangars where we actually build this, uh, but also some developments are going to happen in the U S we are currently engaging with stakeholders from all over the world. There's a massive interest. And what we can say is that those, there hasn't been, uh, there hasn't been any commercial aircraft program that has been successful without significant state support. We're here today because we've had a lot of support from the Swedish government and we heard from the Swedish Minister of Infrastructure. And obviously as we move forward, we need to make sure that we're setting up a place at a place where, where we could uh, uh, get this over that sort of gap between the R&D phase and the business phase. Most, most of this aircraft has been built in-house here within these four walls. So we built over 70 composite molds. I think we built over 1,200 different rigs and locators. And we really like that having that close. I mean, our core belief is that concurrent engineering is the future of aerospace. That when you design a product, you design the production process the same. Then you can find those synergies, those simplifications, uh, remove process steps. What we really want to achieve with this aircraft is not just to decarbonize, but also to democratize air travel. That means building. Uh, a new type of production system where, where, where we're, we're able to hit, hit a much more uh, aggressive cost target. And the way to do that is to verticalize. I, I mean, I think it's the, the, the basic configuration is what it's going to look like. We have, we put a representative tablet interior just to collect the feedback. But how we operate, our, our core operating principle of heart is that we build something not with a, not with a idea of getting it all perfect the first time, but actually building something so that we can learn and we can iterate. And today we have, you know, some of our air airline partners. And um, just last week we had two of our airline partners and our and our, um, the Swedish uh, airport operators with Alvia here. We made a long list of potential improvements that we can Im implement in the next aircraft to make it even even uh, uh, better ne next time. We want to build another one that we're, we're not building with certified processes, but, but uh, essentially doing it as a pre-production demonstrator. Uh, and then as, as we ramp up our pilot plant, we're going to be building an increasingly conforming prototype, which is then going to include uh, some full aircraft that we do structural tests, 
on uh, also partial structural yeah, tests and about three from four more flight test people. Uh, we have not announced where we're going to do the flight test yet. It's quite exciting. Uh, well, we have a lot of great discussions 